So here we go, this is my fit training session. To do this, all you need is a pair of trainers, a little bit of space, so that can be in the corner of the home, or even a bit of space in the office. So step away from those emails, put away that to-do list, and let's get cracking. First things first, it's vital to warm up. Never forget to warm up, it's so easy to do. We're going to start off with some gentle arm movements. So raise your arms up, and then we're just going to go nice and slowly. You can start off with alternate arms, just like this, stretching up as we go and moving those shoulders. It's vital that we do this to get moving. We spend so much time crouched at our computer, filling in those forms, doing those emails. We need to make sure that we get moving. So you can keep going alternate arms like this, or if you want to start off with, just bring them round together. As long as we're getting those arms moving, that's the important thing. Now we're going to do this for about a minute. And it might seem boring, but it is necessary. So the next thing to do is a bit of shoulder rolling. Like I was saying about those hunched shoulders, we spend so much time like this. So let's really relax them. Let's bring them up to your ears and then back and then down in a nice fluid movement. We're just wanting to try and release that tension, warm up all those muscles round your shoulders. And don't feel like you have to race it and don't be tempted to go up and down like this. Make it nice, slow, rounded movements. And then do it the other way as well. It's always good to try and do it both ways. Okay, now that we've done that, we want to get a bit of movement going around the waist as well. So bring your arms up to about shoulder height and we're just going to do some waist twists. So just nice and steadily, one side to the next. Keep your feet planted, try not to move around too much like this. Just nice, steady movements from side to side. Now, as you do this and get a bit warmer, you can increase and just push that bit further back, just to get more movement and more rotation. So much of our movement comes from our core, so it's vital to get this moving and to get this nice and warmed up. And it also helps to try and look in the direction that you're going as well. Let your head follow. Okay, what we're going to move on to now are some squats. So just gentle squats. So I like to do my squats. You have your toes pointed out slightly, your arms straight ahead, relax those shoulders, and then just bring your weight down. Now, what the best thing to do is try and put your weight into the back of your heels, uh, nice and planted firmly down. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed. And what you can do as well, if you've started off going at 45 degrees, Bring that bottom down, make that bottom work that little bit harder. And if it's easy for you as well, you can put your hands on your hips to make sure that your core is nice and straight and stabilised. If we do this for about a minute as well, then that's a perfect way to warm up this part of your body. Another option, if you did want to, you could bring your hands to your temples. But basically, it's whatever feels most comfortable for you. Okay, so what we're going to do next is a little bit of jogging. Now, we're not talking about racing, we're not competing right now, we're just warming up. So do some nice, gentle jogging on the spot. You want to get your heart rate gradually building up. You should be starting to feel slightly warmer now. And just nice gentle jogging and if you want to add a bit of diversity then do some bum kicks increase a little bit of movement here or you can bring your knees up slightly again don't be tempted to get them really really high just yet we're just doing some nice gentle warm-up movements
Now I know we've already done the squats, but that was for the warm up. We're going to make them a bit more intense this time. So again, toes pointed out slightly, arms raised if that's what's comfortable for you and squat down and really make sure you're engaging that core. You don't want your tummy to be hanging out over the shorts. Keep everything pulled in nice and tight. We're going to do this for about 45 seconds for intermediate. If you are a beginner, stick to 30 seconds and then we'll add a 20 second rest once we've done it. Okay, so our next exercise is bringing our elbow to our opposite knee. So we're going to do this nice and steadily to start off with and do it in a controlled way. So bringing that knee up, keeping that core engaged. We want nice, tight tummy muscles, making sure that your core is all pulled in. And the more you do it, the higher you'll be able to raise that leg, the warmer you'll be. Okay, so what we're going to go on to next is doing a little bit of working on the abs. So we need to lie down a little bit here. Now there are two different ways to do this, whether you're intermediate or beginners. So for the intermediate among you, get those legs straight up. Now what we're going to do is just reach forward nice and steadily and try and touch your toes. Keep your chin into your chest because otherwise you'll be tempted to thrust forward with your neck and you don't want to do that. Now for those of you who actually want to go a little bit more steadily, bring those knees to a right angle and still using those arms to push forward, engaging the core. It's tough, but it's effective. Okay then, next, we've got another 20 second rest. So as I was saying before, really use this time. Get the air into your lungs and keep moving, don't be static. Okay, so what we're going to do now is some star jumps. So for the beginners, put your arms out to the side, not too high, just at right angles with your rib cage. Get those legs wide and for the intermediate among you, go high, put in a bit of extra effort there, reach to the sky. Nice wide arms, nice high legs, plenty of bounce in those feet. Okay, so what we're going to do now is have that 20 second rest. What we're gonna do now is some jogging on the spot. Right, so before we did it in the warm up, we were nice and slow. This time, be more vigorous. Bring those knees high. If you want and you've got a skipping rope at home, skip. I always end up with skipping injuries, which is why I haven't got one with me today. But yeah, bring those knees nice and high. Really work that body. Okay. Okay, so now that we've had that break, we're going to go nice and low, really work that bottom, and then we're going to go up and punch. Make nice, quick punching movements, take out the aggression of the day, 
take out those stresses that you had and let's release. Try getting some twists into your thighs. Look the direction that you're punching. And it is hard, but try and keep it up. And don't lose your posture. Okay, 20 second rest now. Right, what we're going to go on to next is some side leg raises. So you want to keep one side of your body nice and straight, this side, hands on hips if you want, and raise your leg wide. Now, depending on which area you want to work, depends on whether you want to point your toe, flex your foot. I'm going to do it like this at the moment and try and keep as steady as you can. It can be hard. Once you've worked one side, don't forget to do the other. You want to be nice and balanced. We don't want to have a more muscly leg than another. That's our first round done. There is another one to go though. Can't get out of it that easily. to everybody let's do this okay so we're going to do the squats again here we go bottom nice and low it can help to put your hands on your hips if you want to stay nice and level don't forget to breathe Okay, next one, the next movement now, bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee. Again, nice and controlled. Sometimes with this, bouncing on one leg help to focus on something right in front of you or even on the floor but take care not to drop your head too much. now then so it involves getting on the floor to the intermediate legs as high as you can with this you want your chin tucked quite nicely in so maybe focus on a point right in front of you for beginners 90 degrees Okay, 
last five, four, three, two, one, and rest for 20 seconds. Guys, 
Ja. Remember 90 degrees if you want. And stretch nice and long. Not good for the double chin look this. It's a bit longer. Do me five more. Four, three, two, reach one, and relax. Whew. Don't forget the water. now. Hard away like this again. Remember, sweat, fat crying. Let it cry. Jogging on the spot, knees high again, or butt kicking if you want. Don't need your technique, don't need your form. Well done. 
Okay, what I'm going to do now is some more boxing. Don't punch out those frustrations again. of what you're doing, focus on your technique. Be mindful of what you're doing. Don't let your mind wander from the task in hand. Okay, we're going to swap legs now. Well done. Now it's time to take a breather and cool down. Now it's vital that you do cool down those muscles properly. To watch one of our videos, the all important cool down videos, click here. After this, we're going to go into some static stretches, which are really good stretches to do post exercise because you don't risk tearing your muscles because they're all nice and elastic and warmed up.